So can you um, give us, you've been whatever it is, eight practices now. Um, give us your thoughts on how you feel you fit in, acclimated to the NFL so far. Uh, I feel like I've, I've done good so far. You know, first couple of days, you know, just trying to get back in the groove of things. You know, as, a, as the weeks has went on, I felt like I'm starting to get a little bit hang of it. You know, then, then as soon as I think I get in the hang of it, they throw something else at me. Like, just more plays on top of plays. And then just trying to learn everything. So I feel like so far I'm doing pretty good. You ever felt like you've been in a tougher competition with this? I mean, this defensive line, there's a lot of guys here, top round picks, um, veterans. I mean, you ever been in a situation where it's been this fierce? Uh, no, nah, I've never been in a situation like this before, but, you know, just coming in, definitely getting drafted, you know, just looking at the depth chart, I was like, dang, this is a, this is a, it's a great group of guys, and I love competition. So for me, it's, this is another day. Brookie, how much do you kind of pride yourself on being versatile, flexible positions, inside, outside? I know that's very important to this coaching staff, obviously. Uh, for me, you know, I've done it my whole life. Uh, ever since I've been playing, since I was little, playing both sides of the ball, and then in college, you know, going inside and outside. So for me, that's just a, another part of my game. Boogie, being in this defense, I know when we talked to you previously, um, you and Greg were working on the playbook together and, and had, you know, some good things to say just about the caliber of playing in this defense, now being able to practice in it and actually practice with pads in it um, versus OTAs and just being here with the rookies. What are your impressions of the type of defense that Leslie Frazier runs here? Uh, I definitely love the defense. You know, our defense is mainly working around the defensive line. You know, they let us play free. You know, coming from uh, my college, you know, it wasn't really us playing free. It was more of a lot of thinking. But Coach Frazier did a great job of, you know, just getting up to the playbook like, you know, this is a free defense. You know, you, you can do what you want, but within the scheme of the defense, you know, just of doing that these last eight practices has been great. Getting to play with Greg Rousseau, I mean, what is it like to line up opposite or next to a player like that? Uh, for me, it was great. You know, me and Greg, known him for two years now, even he's in Miami, so we always kept in touch. You know, when he got drafted, I was like, congrats, bro. Hope see you at the top. But then the next day, I was drafted with him. So we both were like, you know, look how things worked out. So, you know, ever since then, we've been talking every day, hanging out outside of the thing. So it was like we're building that connection. You said you said versatility is, is something you've done your whole career. But at this level right now, would it, I don't know, would it be better for you if they put you in one spot and let you learn that spot as opposed to having to learn very various spots? I don't know what you're – learning curve is, but would yeah. it be better maybe to just stick to one spot? Uh, I feel like the, within the defense we are now, it's better for us to know what all the guys are doing. Just uh, based upon, you know, Coach said, we, he can throw us in at any moment. You know, he's like, Boogie, go play inside, go play outside. So for me, I feel like just learning all the positions is great for me. Greg is kind of a running mate, if you will, through rookie camps and OTAs and everything else. Who, now that training camp has gotten rolling, have, would you say that you've maybe learned from the most? I would definitely learn from uh, Daryl Johnson, uh, F.A. Obata, and, Mar and Mario Addison. You know, just a, we're all like a little clique together in the locker room. So, you know, just a, just asking questions, you know, just getting to know each other. So I feel like we're, we're building that bond every day. You had a good rush against Butker in one-on-ones yesterday. Uh, do you, at this level, what do you think about uh, the precision you need to be perfect to get a clean? It's so much. Do you feel like it's really harder to get a clean win on a yeah. on a guy on a rush? And uh, how? Well, what do you think about the precision you need in the NFL? I would definitely say it's just a, you know keeping your rushes the same coming off. Uh, get off is the main thing. You know I've been working on that a lot. You know just a coach broke me down from the bottom. You know just you know teach me how to rush. So you know just a you know that that come off. And then which, whatever he throws at you, you know, just how you have your curveball ready for it. I think, like, day two of training camp when y'all were inside, you had the big play and a lot of the vets were telling us about of, um, you know, batting and getting the pick. So having something like that so early on in training camp, what does that do for you confidence-wise? Uh, for me, I feel like, you know, it's, a, it's a, quite a confidence boost, but, you know, that's just one day. You know, that's just one play, you know. I want to, like, make plays off the, you know, not just of, you know, he just made that one play, you know. It's in the past, but for me, it's just more, you know, I want to keep doing it as a consistent basis. Going off of that, Boogie, um, I think it was Micah who said, a play like that, we'll know a rookie's name after he makes a play like that. He also said, you know, this team is a little bit different because I feel like the veterans do a good job of making themselves available to you guys. But have there been any veterans that you've been able to kind of attach yourself to in the last few weeks since you've gotten to Buffalo? I'll definitely say Mario. You know, just so we play the same position, 
you know, I'm just like just trying to learn stuff from him. You know, things he do on the field, you know, I try and put it in my repertoire and just like try and use that stuff. And also, he you know, tell me stuff that I need to work on. You know, that's big for me, just of all the things I need to work on rather than telling me things I'm good at.